Welcome to Let's Get On With It, Ultima 7. Part of the rewarding rewarders opportunity I offered back in 2013. Three hours of this blind playthrough were brought to you by Elite Yasman. I played the Super Nintendo version of this back in middle school, but I have a sneaking suspicion that the port, the little I played of it, is far different. Primarily due to size limitations. I'm playing the GOG version. It includes oodles of clue books, reference cards, and notes. I've got the Black Gate reference card open, and I hope that's all I'll need to learn how to play. I'm not a timer here, man. If you want to watch someone who I'm sure really appreciates this game, go to Kakoski's channel. Avatar! Know that Britannia has entered into a new age of enlightenment. Know that the time has finally come for the one true lord of Britannia to take his place at the head of his people. Under my guidance, Britannia will flourish, and all of the people shall rejoice and pay homage to their new guardian. Know that you too shall kneel before me, Avatar. You too will soon acknowledge my authority, for I shall be your companion, your provider, and your master. <laughs> well, that wasn't creepy at all. So, yeah, Ultima 7 came out in the early 90s. Uh, part of a lengthy uh, RPG series. Didn't really get into Ultima. Ultima 7, I know I tried it, and I might have tried another one before it. I, I'm sure I have. But... <sighs> it, uh, it suffers the same fate that uh, pretty much every role-playing game suffers. And that is, I'd rather play tabletop role-playing games than computer role-playing games or console role-playing games. Uh... But, we're here, and, uh, I'll give it a whirl. Not immersing myself full-on in the story, of course, but, uh, we'll try. We'll try. My name shall be... I guess... Avatar? Like, there we go. And I can change my gender. That face looks a little terrifying. Like a lie. Alright. Maybe this won't work, though. I gotta have an idea. Plum. No, 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 no. Yes, man. There we go. He's the requester. We'll go ahead and have Yes, man be the name. Yes, man. Journey onward. Technical note. Uh, oh, there, there. Tis horrible. I know. Tis shocking. Who could have done it? I know not. He had no enemies. Poor man. What is to be done? I know not. A rather large, familiar man looks up and sees you. Uh, a little technical note. Uh, as I said, I'm playing the Gallic version. I have uh, the DOS box uh, window. Uh, I kept most of GOG's default settings, but I made it so that it would be a suitable recording window. Still, you'll have uh, little bars in the left and right. Uh, it's either that or... Uh, YouTube undoubtedly turns this into pixelated rubbish. I chose the savvier move. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, click through and read some dialogue. The shock that is evident from his dumbfounded expression quickly evolves into delight. He smiles broadly. Yes, man! If I did not trust the infallibility of mine own eyes, I would not believe it. I was just thinking to myself, if only the Avatar were here, then, lo and behold, who says that magic is dying? Here is living proof that it is not. Dost thou realize, Yasman, that it hath been two hundred Britannian years since we last met? Why, thou hast not aged at all. Iolo winks conspiratorially. He whispers, Do no doubt to the difference in the structure of time in our original homeland and that of Britannia. He resumes speaking aloud. I have aged a little, as thou canst see, but of course, I have stayed here in Britannia all this time. Oh, but Avatar, wait until I tell the others. They will be happy to see thee. Welcome to Trinzic. 
The distraught peasant interrupts Iolo. Show him the stables, my lord. Tis horrible. Iolo nods, his joy fading quickly as he is reminded of the reason he was standing there in the first place. Ah, yes. Our friend, friend Peter here discovered something truly ghastly this morning. Take a look inside the stables. I shall accompany thee. Oh, that was an interesting flicker. All is not right in Britannia. Perhaps Lord British will know the reason behind this tremor. Alright. You see a middle-aged nobleman before I can even fucking move. Iolo, who is the stranger? Why, this is the Avatar, Iolo proudly proclaims. Canst thou believe it? May I introduce thee? This is Finnegan, the town mayor. And this is Yasman, the Avatar. I simply cannot believe he is here. The mayor looks you up and down, not sure if he believes Iolo or not. He looks at Iolo skeptically. I swear to thee, it is the Avatar. The mayor looks at you again as if you were studying every pore on your face. Finally, he smiles. Welcome, Avatar. But just as suddenly, Finnegan's face becomes stern. A horrible murder has occurred. If thou art truly the Avatar, perhaps thou canst help us solve it. I would feel better if thou takest this matter into thine hands. Thou shalt be handsomely rewarded if thou dost discover the name of the killer. Dost thou accept? Hmm. Getting in, but a thou, uh, but thou must vibe from this, I guess. Peter in here knows something about all of this. The peasant interjects. I discovered poor Christopher and the gargoyle Inamo here early this morning. The mayor continues. Hast thou searched the stables? No. Then I suggest that thou lookest inside and talkest to me again. Pleasest. <laughs> okay. Moving. You, the Avatar, are always in the center of the screen. The stables are through the doorway to the north. Position the cursor so that it points upward. And right-click. Okay. Interesting animation. Okay, we're in here now. Examining things. When you, the Avatar, enter the stables, the roof disappears, allowing you to stay inside. Horrible murder has occurred. You can look at each object by left-clicking on it. Okay. So... Most curious animation. Hmm. Well, this looks all most dreadful indeed. Look at this blood everywhere. I do wonder about the DOS box settings, but I'm gonna assume that Gog knew what it was doing when it made the default, right? I just turned into a windowed mode. Let's, uh... Okay. Click the right mouse button twice. Alright. Cool. So that takes us to the key. And then you don't be disturbed during this investigation, so close the door by placing the cursor on it. Double left clicking. <laughs> and then left click and hold. The key is attached to the cursor. So let's move away and take this key and put it with me. All right. And then double left click on my character, shows my inventory. All right. Huh. Yes. Blue lines. The key is in my right hand. Put the cursor on the large red check mark and click and hold, which allows me to move my inventory window. Okay. Sure. Right there. Spiffy. And, uh, I can speak to Iolo. I'm not even entirely sure how to pronounce his name. So, let's go ahead and speak with him. Thank you, Reference Guard, for teaching me how to play the game. Yes, my friend, Iolo asks. Uh... Let's, uh, ask him about the murder. Ugly, is it not? From what I have heard, neither Christopher nor... Inamo deserves so grisly a death. 
Thou shouldst certainly ask everyone in town about it. Yeah. Well, why don't we ask about uh, Christopher Inamo? I did not know him, my lord. Inamo? I never spoke with him. It is truly a shame. There are not many gargoyles living amongst the humans. This will only discourage the practice even more. Gargoyles. Since thou wert last in Britannia, the gargoyles have begun to integrate with the humans. Most of them live on Sutek's old island, which was renamed Turfin. However, thou mayest see one here and there throughout the land. All right. Uh, bye. It is always a pleasure to speak with thee, my friend. Okay. Fence. Bucket. What is this? It is not a thing. Oh, it's a... Okay. It's part of the wall. I see. That's a shovel. I presume. Good. Yeah, it's a shovel. Can I interact with the candles at all? Lit light source. Victim. He, the victim is too heavy for me to move around. It's reasonable enough. Okay. Mm. We have here a pitchfork. Yeah. A haystack. I imagine this is the gargoyle right here. What do we have there? A gargoyle jewelry. Whoa now, man. I can walk it into the murder scene like that. Peasant. Bloody peasant. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up the bag here, following that. That's bread, torch, and three gold coins. It's an interesting effect. Uh, it tells me that I can double click uh, things. I can double click, single and double left click on every object, discover all sorts of handy things and inventories. All right, spiffy. I drag the coins onto you. They uh, get put in you. And I want to give you the bread, too. Not entirely sure what all this is. I think, from what little I read of the, the manual, that halo there is protection. Uh, like, so, like, ca other characters in your party will focus on protecting them. And that there is, like, formation stuff. And now I want you to get the torch. Cool. That's a fine. And take that jewelry as well. Okay. You want to leave. Luck be with you on your journey. And then that's it. That's all the little review that we get. Okay. I see. Yep, that's all we get. We can use the keyboard to move around. And turn on combat mode, turn off combat mode. Hmm. I was hoping that little little introduction would be longer. But it's not. Okay. Can't say I'm too big of a fan of the interface. But uh I think that's to be expected, right? Let's take a look at all these various items. Let's see if I can do anything with them. That turns me in from peace in the combat mode, I imagine. Those are my pants. My weapon. That's my backpack. Cloth map. Shows me a map of the region. Okay, that's cool. Three lockpicks. A bottle. 13 gold coins. I don't like how uh, easy it is to move this crap around. I know, like, the convenience of moving things around aggravates me. Because I'm trying to click on the items in question and interact with them. Okay. Spiffy. And I can't access your inventory. Uh... Peter. Just an acquaintance. Alright, bye. 
So this peasant here has just stepped around, because of course he has. You see a distraught peasant. Art thou really the Avatar? Yes. Peter bows before you. My lord. Murder. I discovered poor Christopher in Inamu earlier this morning. I did not touch a thing. Made me sick, it did. Christopher. Nice man. He made the shoes for mine horses. Inamu. He worked for very little money. Did basic chores around the stables and the pub. I let him sleep in the little ba back room. He must have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Footprints. They doth lead out the back way, yes. They must be the tracks of the murderer. His eyes wide a bit more. Or oh, murderers. Bye. Goodbye, the man sniffs. This is a save option. Can you save that for me, please? Thank you. What is this? Shows me the character sheet. Huh. The avatar is... Well, I think the attributes here run on a 30 system. From 1 to 30. So those 18s are a little misleading, I think. A little misleading. Alright. Go ahead and click out of that. That's cool that you have a bad feeling. No one cares about you, peasant. Certainly, least of all, me. Tongs, horseshoe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that I don't need those. There's a horse. Is the horse alright? Looks like it. So the footsteps go here. And then vanish. Fucking peasant. Go away, peasant. No one loves you. Alright. So the footsteps. Can I move this stuff? No, it's too heavy. I can't move the stairs, and the steps vanish. Well, rather, the footprints vanish. Wash his hands, got picked up. Wash his hands? Feet, perhaps that, changed clothes. It's an RPG adventure game, everyone. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and just leave. Ooh. Well, he could have gone back here, perhaps. Hello, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> the cat runs away. <coughs> could you get up there, please? No? How about try pathfinding up the steps? Only do a better job of it. I know, what sorcery is that, Avatar? It's crazy. Well, we're up here on the battlements now. That's pretty fun. <laughs> I almost like, what the fuck is he doing? Alright. So it started raining. And just storming. I was hoping I could get something for this apple tree. Maybe it's just flowers. And I know there's like food concerns in this game, or else like food would not be a thing, right? What was that noise? Hello. You see a young woman with a bright smile. Uh, ask her her name. My parents named me Caroline, she says proudly. Uh, ask her about the murder. She looks concerned. Tis awful. Christopher was a nice man. Didst thou know he was one of our members? I cannot believe he is dead. Members? Of the fellowship. We meet every night at the hall. Thou shouldst visit. Job? I have no job, per se. I've devoted mine energies to helping the Fellowship. I hope to recruit new members. Fellowship. The Fellowship is a group that has been gaining much popularity in recent years with the people of Britannia. While on the surface it may simply appear to be a scholarly society, studying its particular ph philosophy, its teachings have the power to forever alter the shape of Britannian society. Its ceremonies are deeply moving experiences. Philosophy. The Fellowship advances the philosophy of sanguine cognition, a way to apply confident order of thought to one's life, through what is called the Triad of Inner Strength. The Triad is simply three basic principles that, when applied in unison, 
enable one to be more creative, satisfied, and successful in life. They are strive for unity, trust thy brother, and worthiness precedes reward. Strive for unity basically means that people should cooperate and work together. Damn, I can't scroll through. I have to use the mouse. Uh, trust thy brother implies that we are all the same and that we should not hate or fear each other. Worthiness precedes reward suggests that we must each strive to be worthy of that which we want out of life. Dost thou want to join? No. Oh, well, perhaps thou canst become enlightened another time. Every night at nine o'clock we have a meeting in the fellowship hall. Thou mayest consider thyself invited to attend. Thanks. Goodbye. So, that's interesting and not creepy in the fucking slightest. Can we get out this way? We can. Looks like the mare went away, though. Oh, fucking... She's following me. Creep. What's going on in here? You see a gorgeous and voluptuous woman in her thirties. Hello. My name is Apollonia, she says, as her tongue lips her, licks her upper lip. Uh, do you know anything about the murder? Apollonia shuts her eyes and shakes her head as if she just had bitten into a very sour lemon. Ooh, that was so hideous. How could anyone do something so horrible? Art thou searching for information? I do hope thou dost find the person responsible. Uh, job. Why, I run the Honorable Hound Pub and Inn, she purrs. Wouldst thou like a room, or wouldst thou like something to eat or drink? Just say so, and I shall try and please thee with my delicacies. You realize she is flirting with you. Let's flirt back. Apollonia blushes and bats her eyelashes. Oh, Yasman, I would wager that thou dost say that to all the barmaids. I can think of no better place in all of Trinsic to lay thine head to rest or to nibble upon treats to satisfy thine appetite. Well, we'll leave her to it. Apollonia blows a kiss at you. Do come again. Well then. It's rather... Alright, we have a register here. Cool. Yes, it's a wall. Anyway. Just trek right on out. There's a well. Doesn't appear to matter, though. Can we speak to this guard? See an alert and no-nonsense guard. So ask him about the murder. I did hear of this. When I arrived at my post at sunrise, I found Gilberto lying fell on the ground. Without art asking if I saw anything, I did not. No one hath passed by me since I arrived at the dock. Your name? Johnson. Bye, Johnson. Good day. Okay. Going on over here. This man exudes kindness and geniality. Oh, look at that portrait. No, Avatar, I recognize thee at once. Word has moved through town quickly. I had heard thou wert here. My name is Clog. Well, the man says, reflecting. I was home all night, and my wife, Ellen, will certainly verify that. But as we say in the Fellowship, worthiness precedes reward. Christopher must have done something bad. And the poor gargoyle Inamo, tis a pity. Christopher. Christopher was a valued member of the Fellowship for some time. Unfortunately, we got into a petty argument last week. Argument? Last week, Christopher stated that he wanted to leave the Fellowship. Canst thou imagine? Well, we simply attempted to speak with him and alter his decision. The man verbally assaulted me and my companions with no provocation. Companions? They have gone to Fellowship headquarters in Britain. They were here delivering Fellowship funds. Their names are Elizabeth and Abraham. Shall I write that down? Nah, we'll be fine. You know, 
I did not know the gargoyle. It sounds as if he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Tis a pity, nigga. I am the intrinsic branch leader for the fellowship. I work here with my wife, Ellen. Ellen? She is my wife and bookkeeper for our branch and fellowship. The fellowship meets here at the branch office intrinsic every night at nine. Thou art welcome to attend. The fellowship is a society of spiritual seekers who strive to reach the highest levels of human potential and to shape this philosophy freely with all people. The fellowship was formed 20 years ago by Batten with the full approval and support of Lord British. Philosophy. The Philosophy Fellowship advances the philosophy of sanguine cognition. We've seen that before. Done good. Yes, we've seen that category before. If there is anything else that might help thee with that yas man, let me know. And his wife? <laughs> this is a woman who seems pleasant and welcome. I am proud to meet the Avatar, she says, beaming. You're Ellen, right? My name is Ellen. Well, you know what, though. It is awful, is it not? Of course, I was home with Clog all night. Aha. Uh -huh. I do the bookkeeping at the Fellowship Branch. I work with mine husband, Clog. Clog? Mine husband, Clog, is a wonderful branch leader, and he is an inspiration to all the Trinsic members. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. I hope to see thee again soon. Perhaps you will. Hmm. Sealed box. Unsealed box. You saw nothing. <laughs> nope, I took nothing. Didn't happen. The Book of the Fellowship. Good morning. Oh my god, that font size. No, I think I'm good. Is that a bag? It is a bag. Shit. Uh... Can you not carry all that? Oops. Oops. Hmm. So I may have made a mistake. Do 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 do. <laughs> Perhaps I should not have stolen that bag. Well, don't kill me. Hey, wait! Help! Help! I'm being repressed! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to this. How about no? How about I can't skip through this? How about I'm gonna load the game? Well, damn. They caught me taken from the bag. Dark times, but at least I was able to take from the box just fine. No! Escape! Escape! Let me go! No! <laughs> oh, God damn it. No. I want to break free! How do I quit this game? There we go. Yes, I do want to exit the DOS. Ah, well, we'll see what happens next time. Maybe I won't try to steal hundreds of gold coins. Ah, I don't know. Money's pretty tempting. <laughs>